What is poppin', ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, your boy Mikey JTV, and the mother of a place to be. And today, this was supposed to be a Zinyan video. But instead, this is going to be a why this can't be a Zinyan video. Um, and the many, many reasons that uh, it just can't be. So, I, I, Mihoyo, man, let's real talk. We gotta sit down and have a conversation about what's going on in this game. All right, so every, what, three three or so weeks, a new banner is released, new characters are released, and we get these characters, and they just sit in the box. I wanted to build Diona. I want to, yo, I have almost, I have every character in the game except Jean, and I'm not even pressed about getting Jean. That's my stance on, like, this whole thing. But the problem is I can't build them. Um, artifacts, not a problem. Um, grinding for them, not a problem. I cannot level my characters. I can't. Can't level my characters. I can't get um, enough talents for leveling up talents. Bro, something has to be done. And you know what? The talents aren't even a problem either. The biggest problem I have with this game is the experience and Mora. Let's go, let's let's go ahead and go over into the game. I, I can show you exactly where we can fix these problems and how we can just solve all the problems when you get new characters. Let's just do that. All right, now we are back on the main menu. I'm gonna move my camera over so everybody can see everything. Boom, all right, we moving that. So look, we're at the main menu. Let's look at Zinyan real quick. So, uh, level six. She's just level six, man. <laughs> Nothing we can do about that because look at what I have to work with. Now, granted, I did build Zhang Li and I was saving up for like the past what, maybe week or so to build him and he's still not level 80. Now, I know I don't I don't have all the numbers in front of me. This is kind of like a spur of the moment thing because I really wanted to make a Zinyan video. But this is the Zinyan video I wanted to make. I don't want to complain. I want to build Zinyan. So my thing is this. If I can't, if I'm pulling these characters and I can't build them, and I know, you know, I'm supposed to have priorities and all that kind of stuff, but as a content creator, I need to be able to do these things. I mean, I could wail out, but even if I did wail out, that's still not gonna give me enough experience to build her, to do anything. So what's gonna have to happen is, Mihoyo, listen to me. Listen to me very, very carefully. Let's look and see how much fluff we actually have in this game that could just be put to the wayside, huh? All right, so you have these bosses, right? Where are... Where are my ley lines? Um, did they just get rid of the ley lines, or uh, 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 what? What happened? What happened? Um. Anyway, ley lines used to be here. If they're not here, so what? The ley lines, the experience ley lines, and the moral ley lines. Get rid of them. Why do we need those? Why do we need those when you already have an experience set up in the game? You give us these enemies, these mobs to kill, give us the appropriate amount of experience for people in your team when we kill these mobs or when we go do these dungeons. Give us the appropriate amount of experience so that we could that we can level our team up naturally. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't you don't have to go out and farm like all these other things to spin resin. If we're spinning resin, it should be a big payoff. Like look at this. 2200 Mora, why? That could easily be at at world level six. Now, obviously I know some of these ley lines don't, um, or some of these domains don't have, um, they're not affected by world level. But if we're at a certain world level, Mora and, it, and character experience should be, you know, at the world level, no matter what you're running. 
that is a that would be a huge improvement to the overall game you put a character on your team they get passive experience from you know from 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 anything they could fill that fourth slot because you can run a three-man team and then the fourth slot i mean epic seven does it beautifully absolutely beautifully you can literally just put that game on auto mode and by the end of the day you can have a fully leveled up character there should be nothing wrong with that i mean this game takes so much from epic seven it's it's kind of crazy <laughs> as it takes so much from epic seven down to the to the gear rolls i, I kid you not everything runs in the rip to either effect resistance hp or defense in epic seven just like this game you cannot get exactly what you want you're gonna have to spend a lot of time and effort into getting what you want in both of these games it's absolutely scary but i digress from the point this game takes so much from epic 7 it should take the amount of mora we get it should take the amount of experience we get as well the experience system in this game is absolutely terrible and i say all this to say that it needs to be changed we have we we don't need we don't need those those little i don't know i don't even know what to call them they're they're ley lines but there are other things in the game that are also ley lines so <clears throat> these things if 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 you're unclear of what i'm talking about hold on let's go to the map um where are you at these things here hello game Okay, there we go. It froze on me for a second. The ley line outcrop, the blossom of revelation. These things, get rid of them. We don't need them. Why? Why do they need to be here? Why can't you just give us the appropriate amount of experience by level up? And then if we get some events, then we can purchase the, the books from the store. We don't need these. We don't need the Mora. Just jack up the Mora in, um, in the domains. Maybe 20k per run. That would be absolutely insane. For for level 90, give us 20k per run. For level 80, give us 15k. And so on and so forth. We don't need these extra ley lines and these fluff, these little fluff things throughout the the game to, to waste our resin. It doesn't make sense. It's not hurting your bottom line, and it it would it makes a better experience for, for everybody. Most people who are on the platform um, and they, they do these rant videos, they don't, they don't have any, they, they love the game. They have no ill will towards the game, but they want to make your game better. And each and every one, um, mo most of them have a general idea of, yes, we, we know MiHoYo needs to make their bottom line. We know they need to get revenue. We understand. But something like this, this doesn't hurt their bottom line adding a little bit of extra experience so at least your characters can be built in the end would, would would go a long way. It doesn't hurt their bottom line. They already got our money for pulling the characters. So why not? And let's talk about resin for a second. So yes, they, they did get a little um a little better with the resin by, you know, getting it up to 160 and lowering the battle pass resin. Um that was great. That was awesome. But the thing is, on my Epic 7 account, and I always come back to Epic 7 because they're so similar. On my Epic 7 account, I have over 1,000 stamina. I'm going to call it stamina. It didn't used to be all, It didn't used to be like that. It always used to be I was running out of stamina. I didn't have enough. And I understand stuff like that gets better with the game. If you want a successful launch and you and and they have had a successful launch, I will definitely say that Genshin Impact is probably one of the most successful gotcha mobile game la launches in in a long while. <laughs> but we have to keep that. We have to keep that energy and we have to keep, you know, we have to keep the praises up. What I'm saying is in order to do that, don't hurt your bottom line, but also give the players a little bit of wiggle room. If we're summoning for these characters, we want to build them. Your game literally makes it so 
that we cannot build these characters when we want to build them. And three weeks isn't enough to gather enough material for each and every single character that comes out, especially since the beginning of the game, you give us four characters off the bat. You gave us Noel, you gave us the Traveler, you gave us, oh, maybe five. You gave us Noel, the Traveler, Amber, Lisa, Kaya. You gave us five characters right off the bat. And I understand this is, pre 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 uh, I, oh, that word, whoop my ass. Preliminary characters, and not all of them need to be built. But what if we wanted to build them? What if we really wanted to build them? You're giving us no options. There are just no options. I literally cannot build my Zinyan because I literally cannot level her up. You give us 17 experience at world level six for each character. That does not make any sense. It doesn't. It, it just doesn't. For each character killed on the world field, you give, well, the Ruin Guards, they give you 50. Ruin Guards give you about a little, a little over 50. While, let's see. Not party setup. It's not what I wanted. Character. Let's go to Zinyan. To get to her next character, to get to her next level, she needs, I can't do quick math, but you guys see the numbers on the screen. <laughs> she needs well over... 3,000. She needs well over 3,000 experience. So if I'm killing mobs, I can't even get to from level six to seven by killing mobs. I couldn't even get to level one to two by killing mobs. What's going on here? What's absolutely going on here? So Mihoyo, my plea to you is to fix the experience. Give us an adequate amount of experience so that we could at least level up our characters looking at i saved up everything for a week for for zhang li i will admit i didn't do the uh geo hypostasis because i find that boring as hell but some people like it i didn't do that until i got him because i wasn't sure that i wanted to that that i was going to get him but when i got him i did the farm for the geo hypostasis but everything else i already had but the only thing that I could not get enough of was experience. And now he's sitting at level 77. And I don't want to farm ley lines all day. I would like to finish building my Kaching. I would like to ascend her and, and do the Electro Hypostasis to get her thing done. You got to give us more experience, Mihoyo. You have to get us more experience and you have to... You, you got to... Resin, ah, man, resin is such a touchy subject because I personally think resin for where the game is at right now, resin is okay. It's not fine. It's okay. So um, we definitely in, in 1.2 or 1.3, we definitely need to see some changes in the resin system that will either give us more fragile resin or just kill the time on the cooldown for resin. Give us five, every five minutes, we should get one point of resin. It's not that hard. Doesn't mess up your bottom line and people will still pay into Genshin Impact. That's my whole thing. People will still pay for a slightly easier and slightly better um, gaming experience. You're selling us an experience when you put out these free to play games. It's all about the experience. And you guys know that I shouldn't be preaching to you, but the people who, who, who don't know, yes, they're selling us an experience. So if our experience is good, that means we'll put more money into it. That's just how that works. So please, um, I say all this to say, give us more experience and you guys are, you're, you're doing a phenomenal job. You are, um, Mihoyo does listen to their fan base. They listen to their community. And I, we're super thankful for that. But if if this trend of every three weeks we get new characters keeps going, that fan base is going to fall off. It is. And we need, I, I, I want to see this game succeed. I really do. Absolutely do. But uh, in closing, I'm going to get up on out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you have similar 
thought processes as I do. If you just want to build your characters, if not even build, I just want to level them. I want to get them to appropriate levels. But if you guys feel the same way I do, put it down in the comment section. If you have any other ideas for MiHoYo that I could put in a, 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 a later video or something like that. I, I want you guys to share the hell out of this video because it makes, it makes MiHoYo listen. It does. These videos do work. We can see that from Tectone. We can see that from Damone. We can see that from Ten High. We can see that from all the other content creators that put out uh, videos. These videos do work, but only if the community is behind them. So please share this video around and I will see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. Still won't be a Zinyan video, but you know, it is what it is. Peace.